Commissioner Moss. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. And and let me uh, just say that a concern that, that I want to, to raise as we debate this issue is a concern in terms of the organizations promoting this process. It's like the nose of the camel under the tent. And with you know, great respect to the uh, sponsor and all the co-sponsors, um, I have a real concern with the, the group that was pushing this issue and brought this issue to the forefront. And I want to remind everyone that this is the same group that opposed the Human Rights Ordinance. When the Commission voted on it, I was the deciding vote. I was targeted after that. That ordinance went to the ballot before the people of Miami-Dade County, and it was passed with 56% of the people voting for it. I would dare say if it's put on the ballot again, if it was put on the ballot again today, that the, there would be a greater number voting for it because this community has grown to be more tolerant over time. And, you know, when, when, again, when I, when I look at the group and, you know, their affiliation, their spinoff from the Christian Coalition, it's called the Christian Family Coalition. If you look at their logos, the logos are very similar. I don't think the philosophies are that different. And the Christian Coalition has had a long history of racism, of being anti-immigrant and homophobic. Sir, uh, I please, have the floor. Uh, one, okay? one second, Commissioner. Uh, please, no, no comments from the audience. If you do have a comment or if you do it again, I'll have to ask the Sergeant of Arms to remove you. Now, 2001, you had black employees who sued the Christian Coalition because they were being forced to enter into their, their office building through the back door. They were being forced to eat in separate rooms doing lunch. They sued the Christian Coalition. The Christian Coalition settled with them on that case. And, and the reason why you have these spinoff groups is because when Pat Robinson, the founder, and Ralph Reed, who was the CEO in the face of the Christian Coalition, when they left the group, the group began to lose its, its power and its influence. And you had a number of spinoff groups that basically were formed. And the point I'm trying, I'm trying to make is, again, to me, this is the camel's nose under the tent. And I'm not going to support these continued conservative, right-wing kinds of philosophies that are being espoused in the country today those were roundly rejected in the last election in the country. They were roundly rejected in the state of Florida. You look at all the ballot issues that, you know, the whole, the whole game plan was put out there, and resoundingly the game plan was rejected. So I, I have a concern, you know, in reference to the group that's been pushing this issue, and I, I'm not going to support it. If this issue had come to the board, from some sort of interfaith group, the Conference of Christians and Jews, or some other organization, I would feel a lot more comfortable with giving it the consideration that I would want to. But I simply cannot, based upon what I've seen this group do in this community, I simply cannot support this act. Okay, um, I, I have Commissioner Zapata on. Did you want to 